वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र रघुवीर देशपांडे फ्रॉम पुणे महाराष्ट्र स्टेट वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग क्लास ऑफ द प्रसूति तंत्र एंड स्त्री रोग विज्ञान दिस इज द टॉपिक मे बी फॉर द थर्ड इयर बी एम एस राइट नाउ एंड वेन द एन सी आई एस एम न्यू शेड्यूल विल बी देअर देर आर ओनली थ्री कोर्सेस फर्स्ट इयर सेकंड इयर एंड ऑल्सो द फाइनल इयर ऑफ द प्रोफेशनल सो दिस विल बी द क्लिनिकल सब्जेक्ट of the last year this is in modern language it is called as a gynecology and obstetrics a very difficult word this in your ayurvedic syllabus actually they have taken the pregnancy and the post pregnancy all these activities uh, in the first paper and they have taken the main the female understanding of the functions and ovarian cycle and menstrual cycle and the stru structure and functions in the second paper but we can't help we have to go in that way we are right now discussing uh, again the uh, paper 1 regarding the obstetrics and today we are going to discuss please open your notebook please write the serial number and the date 21st of november 2023 i hope everybody has enjoyed the diwali vacation and now this is the right time to start again our main uh, topics and the discussions so today's lecture is of gynecology and obstetrics prasuti tantra and stri roga vidyana basically this questions will be asked in the paper 1 we will discuss today first write down the titles this is in front of you pc pndt act so we will discuss two important law 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 or act and this everything that i am taking in the class is very important for your examination purpose and for your practice purpose so this will be the first act first law that we are going to discuss pcpndt okay and then sorry uh, in between i don't know but uh, uh, video is little bit uh, getting off automatically i don't know uh, second important today's act or the law please write down m t p please write down m t p mtp act that we are going to discuss so two laws two rules and regulations by the government regarding the pregnancy we are going to discuss and next two investigations two investigations so third topic of today third topic of today is please write down histero h y s t e r o histero dash salpingography s a l p h a n salpingo g o histero salpingo dash graphy histero salpingo graphy histero means uterus salpingo means fallopian tubes and how these two organs are tested by the sonography or pushing any dye that is called as a histero salpingo graphy graphy is a graph to see what is there and last today's topic will be please write down investigation pap smear p a p p capital p a p smear s m e a r it is from the female genital organ the swab is taken and it is seen under the microscopic examination so pap smear pap smear are you getting so these are the four topics again i will repeat p c p n d t in front of you act act means rule act means law by the government second second m t p medical termination of pregnancy abortion allowed you can take it out that fetus inside abortion official medical termination the end termination me end medical termination of pregnancy mtp act next two investigations histero salpingo graphy and last pap smear let us start what is this pcpndt act first you write down the full form full form pre conception can you see pc as usual we can mark that particular topic so we can focus and concentrate pre conception and pre 
नेटल डायग्नोस्टिक टेस्ट टेक्निक्स प्री कंसेप्शन प्री नेटल डायग्नोस्टिक टेक्निक प्रोहिबिशन ऑफ सेक्स सिलेक्शन इन इंडिया इन इंडिया आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट देर इज नॉट अलाउड ड्यूरिंग द प्रेगनेंसी यू शुड नॉट डू एनी टेस्ट टू सी वेदर इन साइड द बेबी इज अ मेल और इन साइड बेबी इज अ फीमेल बेबी इज अ मेल और बेबी इज अ फीमेल क्यूरियसिटी ए लॉट ऑफ क्यूरियसिटी बट इन इंडिया नो अलाउड नो अलाउड जेंडर डिटर्मिनेशन नॉट अलाउड सो प्रोहिबिशन प्रोहिबिशन इज नॉट अलाउड दिस इज दैट इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर नाइनटीन नाइनटी फोर इज ए लॉ इन इंडिया एनेक्टेड वाई वाई इज लॉ इज देयर टू स्टॉप द फीमेल फिटिसाइड बिकॉज द पीपल वेन दे अंडरस्टैंड ओ देर इज अ फीमेल बेबी देन दे डोंट वॉन्ट फीमेल बेबी एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स द मेल बेबी एवरीबडी वॉन्ट्स द मेल बेबी सो दे ट्राई टू किल दैट फीमेल बेबी and that is very very dangerous huh? so this act this act is to prevent that killing of the female baby because the people are very very bad people they think that only male is good female is bad because the lot of problems are there dowry and all this thing but this is not allowed by the government you have to give both respect to both gender male as well as female anything is the best anything is the best okay so this law in india enacted to stop female feticide killing killing and arrest the declining sex ratio in india because previously before this act the lot of people parents the wife the husband mother and father they want to kill the female baby and that is the big problem so only the males are getting up number and the females are very low for example in 100 birth there will there were 70 male and only 30 or 20 female this is uneven this is not correct and that is why this particular law is very very helpful to balance the sex or gender ratio of male and female okay the act is banned that means this act is banned prenatal sex determination you cannot decide you cannot check the doctor should not do the sex determination and even if they know they should not tell to the father and mother the parents of that baby no you cannot tell the gender so what are the provisions in this act provision of sex selection before or after conception after male and female gamete unite and pregnancy starts there is not allowed to to see which is that child male or female not allowed regulation of prenatal diagnostic techniques for the purpose of i will mark for you again that particular this thing detecting genetic abnormalities or metabolic disorders or chromosomal abnormalities or certain congenital malformation or sex linked disorders and for the prevention of their misuse for sex determination leading to the female feticide actually it is out that this diagnosis can be useful to find out the abnormalities that is okay there is no problem you can detect the abnormalities for example metabolic problem chromosomal problem congenital malformation sex link disorder everything is allowed but determination and knowing telling the parents this is male this is female in your uterus is not allowed other diagnostics are allowed prohibition another sale of ultrasound ultrasound machine sonography machine to the person or to the laboratories not registered under this act anybody can purchase and anybody can do the sonography is not allowed in india only if you have this registration with this act then only you are allowed to purchase the sonography to use to diagnose some abnormalities okay otherwise what will happen okay it is not allowed then privately who is a very rich person they can bring the sonography machine at their locality and start telling the people by taking a lot of money this is not allowed so selling even the manufacturer the shopkeepers they are not allowed to sell sonography machine to anybody it is very restricted 
when consent then there is important whenever you do the sonography consent is very important of that pregnant woman and prohibition of communicating the gender the two words are the same sex and gender same male or female of the fetus communication doctor should not tell nurses should not tell attendant assistant should not tell although they understand they can see they have the knowledge but you are not allowed to tell the mother and uh, father of that baby determination of sex prohibited constitution of centrally supervisory board there is a controlling board and they also regularly visit to the different hospitals they check the records of the sonography they see which patients have been uh, done the sonography where they are living what is their age what findings they have seen everything random random visits are there and you have, might have been seen on the television or the newspaper that this particular doctor was fined found to uh, doing the wrong use of sonography machines they immediately lock that particular and that particular person is uh, behind the prison so this law is very very strict nowadays the pcpndt act again we will go further is a landmark legislation landmark a milestone in the fight against the female feticide killing of the female gender very bad killing of the female baby you will ask me sir how they kill they make the abortions they make the abortion illegal abortion that is the problem illegal some tablets some surgeries and they remove the child if the female is there so that is now stopped however it is important to note that law has its limitations for example if we go to the rural areas villages there all the time some mal practices are always going on because that much uh, control supervision official governmental staff is not there to visit each and every nook and corner of the india here they are here they concentrate on main places but still there are some places where you cannot reach and they do these mal practices okay next circumvent the law by using sex determination test conducted outside the india see in america in europe it is allowed it is allowed so what rich people can do rich people can travel to the america just to know what is my baby are you understanding in india it is not allowed but in other countries in some places the sex determination and knowing the sex is allowed so that is the uh, india cannot do anything that is the problem limitation despite its problem limitation the pc pndt act that is a law that is a rule has played a very significant and improving improving the sex ratio in india i told that before that 1994 before this act for example 100 births were there 70 were male only 30 were female but now it is 50 and say 45 or 55 and 50 ratio both have same male female okay the sex ratio at birth has increased from 9 to 7 females per 1000 males in 2001 and now you can see in spite of 9 to this year here it is 941 females per 1000 males in 2021 see the difference in 20 years the female birth live birth they are increased that is because of the credit goes to this pcpndt act okay we will go further next rule second second topic next law mtp we will see what is mtp can you see here concentrate focus medical termination of pregnancy please write down medical termination the end termination mean end of the pregnancy 1971 is a law in india that allows it is allowed to terminate the certain pregnancies who who can do that who pre registered medical gynecologist only gynecologist they can do this type of the uh, but uh, what a non registered doctor cannot do this particular thing the act was passed in response to the high number of unsafe abortions that we are being performed in india each year unsafe unlawful mal practices 
some finding the sonography, there is a problem in the child and they do the abortion, miscarriage. But they did it with the unsafe hands. Fake doctors. They are not the proper doctors. But they do some types of these malpractices. And that causes a lot of problem with the pregnant lady. Because they do unhygienically. The instruments they are using, not sterile instruments. They do not take any precautions. And then many ladies die during this particular process of abortion. Even they get afterwards infections. That is the dangerous. So government thought, okay, okay, okay. In some cases, we understand that abortion is necessary. It is officially allowed. But where, where it is allowed, that is the most important. The MTP Act, medical termination of pregnancy, allowed the, for abortion in the following cases. You must know which are these conditions where official, legal abortion is allowed. Number one, if the continuation of pregnancy would involve a risk of life to the pregnant woman. Some diseases, for example, toxemia of pregnancy or eclampsia in pregnancy. What is that, sir? Eclampsia? What is the toxemia? Same. Toxemia means eclampsia. Number one, albuminuria. Albumin in the urine, high blood pressure, and fits, convergence. Three things together in the urine albuminuria, swelling on the body, hypertension, blood pressure is high, and convergence. These four three things are indicating there is a problem in the pregnant woman and this particular condition, this particular uh, disease can kill that particular mother. Her life is in danger. So we want to, we want to save that lady. Uh, so that's why Okay, you, you uh, take out that baby, but the lady should be safe. Lady should be safe. Mother should be safe. Forget about it. Even after some years, that pair, husband and wife can try for another child. But this time, that lady has a danger in her life. So they allowed to take it, that baby out. That is called a medical termination of pregnancy. Second condition. If by chance that pregnancy has occurred, not by husband and wife uh, type of these a uh, family affair, but that pregnancy because of the rape, that because of the incest or other criminal acts. And unfortunately, very, very bad luck. Unfortunately, the lady, that particular girl become pregnant. What she can do? What she can do? She don't want that particular pregnancy. She was, she, she has not uh, got that particular thing by her own will. It is an accident. It is offense. It is done by the bad people. And so she don't want that particular pregnancy to be continued. And then government say, okay, okay. That lady has not initi initiated or the lady is not interested in such pregnancy getting after rape. No, she don't want it. So termination is allowed. Next is if the fetus has the inside baby has a substantial physical or mental problem. That can be understood by some sonography or amniocentesis, uh, anything. There are different tests. If you find that fetus is very, very problematic, some genetic problems are there. And that even if he comes out after the delivery, after the pregnancy, and that child, the survival of that child is very difficult. To take care of that child is very difficult because that is a very, very bad physical or some mental abnormalities in the child. So government say that, okay, this couple should be allowed to do the abortion because that is not good for the getting pregnancy with the bad child. Are you understanding? Okay. If the woman is a minor, actually it is, should not happen. But by chance, before the age of 18, she gets the pregnancy because of some uh, bad uh, what you can say, the activities in the young generation. Uh, that is very bad. But that the lay, if that girl is below 18, medical termination of pregnancy under the consent of that particular, because she is a minor, parents' consent is very important. Remember this thing. Okay, we will go further. Next.
if the pregnancy is caused when you are allowed to abort if the pregnancy is caused by the failure of any family planning device or method used by the married woman or her husband for the purpose of limiting the number of children some were using condom some are using tablets pills oc pill oral contraceptive pill some are using intrauterine contraceptive device iucd but by chance there was problem and that particular method failed and both were very sad they actually the couple uh, was not want, was not in a need to get the child but unfortunately that family planning method fails and it is proved then government say okay you can do the mtp medical termination of pregnancy the mtp also specifies the place okay you have to do the abortion but who will do where it should be done the very specific places are there it is not anywhere unauthorized centers are now banned and they they are taken very serious action against these unauthorized centers a government hospital you can do mtp or other public health institution a private hospital or clinic that has been registered under the government any other place where that has been approved by the government that is the main condition okay now we will go further to see the mtp act mtp act has other provisions to protect the right of women seeking the abortions for example the act requires that all abortions be performed by a registered medical practitioner the act also requires that the woman's consent written consent that i am ready to get my child out abortion that consent is very important without the consent if the child uh, if the lady wants no no i i have the although she the baby has some problem i don't have a problem i will let delivery takes place let the pregnancy takes place and i will take care of that even my uh, some problematic child then you are not allowed to do the mtp if husband forces or uh, in laws father in law or mother in law family pressure is there it is not allowed that particular lady should give you in return that i am ready to do the mtp then only the doctor can do perform that particular thing the mtp act here next as an important law that has helped to reduce the number of unsafe this is the main benefit that we can avoid the unsafe abortions in india however there are still some challenges to accessing safe and legal abortion services in india for example many women in rural areas do not have access to the registered medical practitioner who can perform abortion there is no doctor available what she will do additionally there is still some stigma associated with abortion in india which can prevent the woman for seeking the services she need that means family pressure is there although the lady don't want that particular pregnancy but the family members say no you cannot do that uh, child uh, to be get aborted no you should not do that mtp then there is a pressure from the family from the husband from the relatives that is the problem so there are some limitations in 2021 the indian government amended amended means some modifications some improvements in the law at the mtp act to increase the upper limit of abortion from 20 to 24 weeks of gestation for certain categories of women that means previously it was allowed up to 20th week that means 5 month now it is allowed till even 6 month of pregnancy you can do the mtp of course mtp cannot do after 7 8 and 9 months it should be done before 5 months but now government has modified the law and say okay in spite of 20 we are allowed to do up to 24 weeks what is that 6 month okay women including but not for all some women including minors below 18 years victims of the rape and incest and women with disabilities they only allowed to do the mtp till the 6 month of pregnancy the amendment also removed the requirement for the opinion of second doctor for abortions beyond 20 weeks of gestation previously 
only one doctor cannot decide there is there should be two doctors who can decide whether mtp should be done or not now they have after 20 weeks there is no need to ask for the second doctor only one doctor authorized md doctor can do that particular decision now the mtp act is a progressive law step by step there is a progress to help to protect the reproductive right reproductive rights of women in india however there is still chances for improvement like for increasing the awareness of the law and its provisions and making abortion services more accessible to the women in the rural area there should be centers authorized center should be developed in the villages in the rural areas that is a need of the time and also the people are not very much educated so it is a duty of each and every doctor to put some posters to give some pamphlets to the pregnant woman whoever come to their clinic and that will make a more and more awareness of the rules and regulations from the government okay so this is was the second topic of our today's lecture first we discussed about the pcpndt act that is to avoid the uh, female feticide killing of the female then we have seen about the medical termination of pregnancy that is mtp act now we are going to see two test t e s t first is describe this these are the questions in the examination that's why dr deshpande is taking in the class not a casual not no casual everything is important okay hysterosalpingography please write down i am slow and steady see see the spelling huh? see the spelling relax write down hystero here hystero means uterus salpingo what is salpingo fallopian tubes graphy that is short form is h s g also known as utero again see hystero in spite of hystero is utero salpingography this is x ray procedure this is not sonography x ray procedure which is used why it is used see to view the uterus and fallopian tubes two thing most important uterus and fallopian tubes it is often used to see the fallopian tubes are partly or fully blocked very important for infertility because a lot of people will come to you couples couples husband and wife they will come to you doctor we are not getting the child after we are doing one year efforts proper intercourse proper all the things but unfortunately we are not getting the child where is the problem of course when the vandhyatva in ayurveda please write down ayurvedic words vandhyatva vandhyatva in modern infertility in the infertility or vandhyatva the most important examination is first male first male then female remember always my words first you should do the semen examination always in infertility when the the couple is not getting the child physical examination of both husband and wife and then laboratory semen examination of the male the normal sperm count should be a uh, normal sperm count should be 80 to 120 million per cubic mm i am talking about infertility in ayurveda one jatva not getting the child after one year of efforts first examination is semen examination always check the male partner first then comes the female so for the female this shsg is important to check whether there is any sroto rodh in ayurveda some ayurvedic terminology is important for ayurveda students this is a blocking blocking of the fallopian tube in ayurveda sroto rodh please write down sroto rodh because why i am saying this because for the treatment purpose please write down in additional information you can write in the exam also in the exam also you can write in this sroto rodh infertility cases you can do uttara basti please write down uttara basti in the females in the male also but in the in the females we the doctors expert doctors are giving please write down kasi sa tail 
कासीस तैल और क्षार तैल और और आई एम सिंग और नॉट बोथ पुश इन द फेलोपियन ट्यूब्स दे स्पेशल टेक्निक उत्तर बस्ती देन समाइम्स दीज ब्लॉकेजेस कैन बी रिमूव are you getting my point but before that we should find out where is the block how many blocks are there how much is the block one or two both so we are want to see partly or fully block that why this is x ray is done the information can help to doctor to diagnose about fertility or infertility problems okay next hsg is typically performed during the first two weeks of the menstrual cycle for example i am giving you just example huh? on the first of any month let us consider first of december okay so first of december first day of the menstrual cycle usually three days the menstrual discharge is there first second third december okay now i want that lady wants to get that hsg test when she should do only up to the 15th of december are you getting only two weeks in this period you should do this examination okay first two weeks of the menstrual cycle after your last period has ended but before you ovulate because on the 14th day in the mid day of the menstrual cycle if if we consider 28 day menstrual cycle midpoint 14th day there is the ovulation before that you can do that the timing reduces the chances that you will be pregnant or menstruating during the procedure that means why this period is being chosen because there this your investigation should not be obstacle obstruction in the process of pregnancy okay to perform hsg what is the method method methodology a tube catheter is inserted into the cervix that is the like a mouth of the uterus cervix a contrast dye a liquid is then injected through the catheter into the uterus and fallopian tubes the dye mix you can see the immediately during the radiological screening you can see the uterus and fallopian tubes show up more clearly than normal x ray when you pass some dye that dye is a colored liquid that automatically it gives the color to the uterus and fallopian tube and diagnosis is easy okay now the x rays are taken when the dye moves through your reproductive system the radiologist will watch the dye when it is moving and takes picture at different times this is called as screening ha huh? the entire procedure usually takes 30 minutes how much time it will require 30 minutes hysterosalpingography is a relatively safe procedure of course there are some risk and which are those risk here you can see hsg when you do this radiologist do this x ray number 1 there can be allergy to that dye 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 is a liquid can you see there may be allergy allergy can be anybody or anything so the lady cannot tolerate that particular dye and there is a uh, blood pressure will fall down there will be giddiness pulse will be fast and feeble sweating will be there so immediately procedure should be stopped pelvic inf infection sometimes if the procedure is not done properly proper st sterilization care is not taken then there may be pelvic inflammatory diseases afterwards then by chance if these are very rare but sometimes bleeding may take place sometimes there may be severe pain after that particular procedure okay next if we are considering having an hsg be sure to talk about your doctor about the risk and benefits of the procedure both things the doctor will explain to that particular lady hsg is a valuable tool or the test for diagnosing infertility problems it can help to your doctor to identify the cause of the infertility problem and recommend the best possible treatment just now i have given the one of the uh, what you can say the trailer which type of the uh, treatment can be given by ayurvedic vaidya 
is like a uttara basti by kasis tail or kshara tail if fallopian tubes are blocked okay next now we will discuss about another important test and that particular test is called as a pap smear test please write down slow and steady pap smear test okay pap smear test is a full name short form is pap test simple procedure for screening for or diagnosing cervical cancer as everybody knows that in the females there are the different types of cancers we can see the common is a breast cancer then there is a uterine cancer and there is also cervical cancer to diagnose this cervical cancer this pap smear test is very important the cervix is like a mouth of the uterus cervix is the lower narrow end of the uterus which opens outside to the vagina from where the baby comes after the pregnancy vagina part or the where the intercourse or copulation takes place okay during a pap smear your doctor provider collects the cells from the cervix using a small brush or spatula a type of the spoon like this they take they take out some cells from the region of cervix the cells are then sent to the laboratory pathological laboratory to be examined under the microscope for any signs of cancer so we have to detect the cancer cells okay a pap smear can detect abnormal cells in the cervix before they become cancerous so this condition is called as a please write down pre malignant condition my dear friends please write down pre malignant means pre cancer it is not finally stamp cancer no it can be detected earlier and so the treatment can be started immediate okay so pre cancer stage especially i will tell you one thing and you have to write down it is not there cervical erosion please write down this word cervical erosion e r o s i o n cervical erosion can be diagnosed by typical specu speculation huh? because it is a sims speculum please write down s r m comma sims s r m apostopius sims speculum this is the instrument by which the gynecologist see through the vagina inside part and he can see the cervix he cannot see the fallopian tube he cannot see the uterus but yes through the vagina with the help of the speculum there are two speculum there are two speculum please write down i will dictate sim s r m apostrophe s sims speculum okay and another 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 please write down kushko c u s h c o apostrophe s kushko's speculum kushko's speculum just go to the google see the images immediately after the lecture this is the your duty i am giving you the guidance where to search what to search huh? that is very important so google images very important very important this both sim speculum take the screenshot keep it in your mobile kushko's speculum take a screenshot keep it in your mobile very useful in the practical examination there is a oral on the instrument they will ask you what it is, what is the uses where it is used so these speculums are used to see the cervix and they can see the inflammation around the cervix that is called as a cervical erosion in marathi language in maharashtra state chandi cha azar khedya padyatun ami shabd vaparto त्या बाईला चांदीचा आजार आहे चांदी येस इट इज लुकिंग लाईक अ शायनिंग सिल्वर सो इट इज लाईक अ सिल्वर शायनिंग दॅट्स वाय इन मराठी इट इज कॉल चांदीचा आजार दॅट इज अल्सो सर्वायकल इरोजन मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम कॅन बी प्री कॅन्सर देअर यू कॅन ॲडवाइज दिस पॅप स्मिअर टेस्ट आय होप द पॉइंट इज व्हेरी क्लिअर ओके ओके द अलाउज फॉर अर्ली ट्रीटमेंट विच कॅन 
greatly improve the chances of cure because whenever patient many times what happens cancer patients they come in the third stage they come in the fourth stage cancer i'm talking about malignancy or cancer hmm? the last stage even some people i am not saying purposefully but they come when there is a spreading of the cancer cells in the body spreading of the cells spreading that is called as a metastasis spreading of cancer cell from the original place to the other places for example if a lady has a cancer in the uterus okay in the cervix that cells through the blood through the lymphatics they reach to the bones vertebral column and every lungs and every different parts are having cancer origin is different but cancer cells are spreading that is called as a metastasis but if we can restrict if we can stop the cancer at that particular spot that is called as a cancer in situ please write down the word cancer in situ s i t u so what is situ cancer in situ means the cancer cells are only at the original place cancer in situ especially breast cancer if it is identified in the uterine cancer then cure is very easy or it can be little bit cured with chemotherapy and radiotherapy and ayurveda okay next pap smear is also effective in detecting certain infections other than cancer cancer is not infection but any infections can be determined inflammations can be diagnosed okay next who needs a pap smear who needs who which lady is needed pap smear the american college of obstetrician and gynecologist recommends that all women who are at least 21 years old begin having pap smears okay that means any lady around 21 years she can uh, be a patient or she can be a lady for doing the pap smear women who are 21 to 29 should have a pap smear every 3 years before 21 years not necessary from 21 to 29 every 3 years women ladies who are 30 to 65 can choose to have a pap smear voluntarily going to the clinic going to the center telling the doctor doctor i want to do my pap smear to just by chance if i have the cervical cancer i, I want to see i want to check that is a prevention type of the checkup many places there are the pap smear camp camps so any lady can go there and check that particular thing women who are 30 to 65 can choose the pap smear every 3 years to have a pap smear and hpv test together this both the test together every 5 years women who are 65 and older may stop they cannot do they are not necessary to do the pap smear if they have had three normal pap smears in a row and have no other risk factor for cervical cancer are you getting my point after 65 years you can do sometimes every after for example for six months one year and for example you are doing the pap smear at the age of 62 63 64 and everything is absolutely normal no problem then after 65 there is no regularly pap smear testing is necessary there are very less chances unless and until you have other things that means there is a uh, hereditary history you are already obese there are already lot of infections in your genital tract then yes that lady or abnormal bleeding after menopause yes then it is necessary but if no other complaints are existing after 65 there is no strong need to do the pap smear okay how often should you means that lady can have a pap smear depends on your age and risk factors for the two things are important one is age and second is a risk factor if the lady is healthy and no risk factor that pap smear can be done less often not frequently is needed however if the lady has a history of hpv infection cervical dysplasia or other risk factors then that lady should go for pap smear this 
three words you must write down hpv infection cervical dysplasia and other risk factors okay lady can talk with the concerned gynecologist and doctor will decide how often that lady will require the pap smear according to the based on risk factors what to expect during a pap smear a pap smear is a quick and easy procedure huh? performed during a pelvic examination to perform a pap smear doctor will insert a speculum just now i have mentioned that speculum into the vagina of that lady huh? holding the vaginal wall apart they will doctor will use the small brush or the spatula like a spoon to collect the cells from the cervix the cells are then placed on the slide glass slide and sent to the laboratory for further microscopic examination the lady may experience some mild discomfort during the pap smear a little discomfort such as feeling of pressure or a slight pinch slight pinch however the procedure should not be painful if it is uh, going on painful something is going wrong if doc the lady experience any pain you that that lady should tell to the doctor that doctor doctor please wait i am getting a lot of pain so doctor will find out what is the reason for pain over there what do the results of pap smear mean what are the results the results of pap smear are typically two things are there one is called as a normal report and another is called as abnormal report a normal pap smear result means there no abnormal cells are found and abnormal pap smear results mean abnormal cells are found however not all the abnormal pap smear is equal to cancer you should not worry if some report is there every report is not a cancer huh? there are other things are also there they will mention some infections will be there some other inflammations will be there it is not the pap when you do the pap smear you are cancer no not like that even abnormal reports may have some different reasons only cancer is not the reason okay if your pap smear results in abnormal your doctor may recommend further test for example colposcopy or a biopsy this is the most important test biopsy these tests can help to determine the cause of abnormal pap smear and whether or not further treatment is necessary my dear friends i think you have understood today's four topics i will repeat it for you we will go reverse reverse we have discussed at the last regarding the pap smear test just don't leave the class please wait we are going to discuss till 1 hour shane nashte kuto vidya 100% one hour we should learn then we have learned about hysterosalpingography even ayurvedic tip i have given uttarbasti with tell me kasi sa bhasma or kshar tail very little 10 ml or 6 ml 5 ml etc only 4 ml stroto rodh if there is a obstruction in the fallopian tube and infertility is there then we have discussed about the two laws the second first law was another second was mtp that is medical termination of pregnancy whenever there is a problem with the lady or with the child then officially you can abort that particular child but not only because she is a female child you are not do allowed to do the female feticide killing the female is not allowed by that pcpnd act so today we have discussed the four topics now my dear friends i will like to go on telling you the which are the points that are in the paper 1 this is a type of revision last 8 minutes are with us 8 minutes so everybody is expected to do the meditation or the concentration to hear the important topics from the paper 1 first chapter with your textbook with your index garbha vidyani garbha vidyan fitas first topic is a garbha dhan how the conception should take place then there is a these are ayurvedic words you try to make your ears to hear ayurvedic words ayurvedic terminology this is practice practice is very important huh? so first i will give you the broad 10 topics 
If you are ready, please write down. First topic in the paper one. Garbha Vidyaniya. Garbha, Garbha. Garbha Vidyana, science. Second, second topic. Garbhini Vidyaniya. Garbha and Garbhini. Garbhini, mother, pregnant woman. Garbhini. Garbhini Vidyani. Third topic, please write down. Garbha. Inside baby uterus, Garbha Vyapad. Garbha Vyapad. Garbha Vyapad. Third topic. Paper 1. Prasuti Tantra. Fourth topic. Fourth. Garbha Padrav. Nearly both the things are same. Garbha Vyapad and Garbha Padrav. Okay. Next. Next. Fifth. Prasava Vidyana. Delivery, delivery. Prasava delivery. Prasava delivery. Huh? Prasava vidyana. Next, sixth. Prasava. Are you writing? Vyapada. Prasava vyapada. Prasava vyapada. Vyapada complications. During delivery, some complications may arise. Next. After delivery, seventh topic. What is the name for the lady after delivery? You know? Sutika. 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 Ayurvedic words. Ayurvedic. Sutika Vidyana. The lady is called after delivery. First, it was a pregnant lady. It was after delivery. Sutika. Previously, it was Garbhini. Are you getting my point? Garbhini Sutika. Garbhini Sutika. Garbhini before delivery. Sutika after delivery. Garbhini before delivery. Sutika after delivery. Very interesting. Sutika. Next. Sutika rog. Rog means diseases. After delivery also, the lady can get different problems. That period, modern science, they, they, they called it the perperial period. P-U-R-P-E-R-I-L. Perperial period. After delivery. Okay. That is called as a sutika. That lady. Rog. Diseases to that lady. After delivery. Next. Ninth. Mood garbha. Garbha. Fetus again. Mood garbha. Problematic. Mood garbha. Hmm? Then. Tenth. Kutumba niyojana. Family planning. Family planning. These are the 10 important topics of paper 1. Paper 1. Prasuti Tantra. Garbha Vidyaniya. Garbha Vidyaniya. 2. Say Garbhini Vidyaniya. Garbhini Vidyaniya. 3. Garbha Vyapad. Garbha Vyapad. 4. Garbha Upadrava. Garbha Upadrava. 5. Prasava Vidyana. Prasava Vidyana. Sixth. Sixth. Prasava Vyapad. Problem during the delivery. Prasava Vyapad. Next. Sutika Vidyana. Sutika Vidyana. Sutika Rog. Sir, what is it? Eight, eight point. Sutika Rog. Mood Garb, Mood Garb Kutumbani Ojana, Kutumbani Ojana. So, my dear friend, we are discussing revision index of the textbook of paper one. In Garbha Vidyanya, important terms are Garbha Dhana, Garbha Sambhava Samagri. Immediately after my lecture, you find out these words in your textbook. Find out. Make underline. Tick mark. IMP. Very IMP. Because sir has said Garbha Sambhava Samagri. Garbhachi Masanu Masika Vruddhi. Monthly development of the fetus. Masanu Masika Vruddhi. Apara Nirmiti. Apara. Apara is a placenta. Apara Nirmiti. Garbhodak. Garbhodak. Amniotic fluid inside, inside the uterus. Amniotic fluid. Garbhini Vidyani. Second point. 
व्यक्त गर्भा लक्षण हाउ यू कैन डायग्नोज प्रेग्नेंट वुमन गर्भिणी निदान लक्षण और व्यक्त गर्भा लक्षण व्यक्त गर्भा हियर इन द प्रेग्नेंट वुमन गर्भोपघात कर भाव गर्भोपघात कर भाव ट्रॉमा प्रॉब्लम उपघात एक्सीडेंट गर्भोपघात कर भाव बाय विच द प्रेग्नेंसी विल बी प्रॉब्लमेटिक गर्भोपघात कर भाव गर्भ व्यापक थ्री वर्ड आर इंपॉर्टेंट और फोर फाइव वर्ड गर्भस्त्राव मिसकैरेज गर्भस्त्राव मिसकैरेज गर्भपात एबॉर्शन गर्भपात एबॉर्शन उपविष्टक वी आर गोइंग टू सी डोंट वरी उपविष्टक बट रिमेंबर मेक यूर हियर्स ट्रेंड फॉर आयुर्वेदिक वर्ड उपविष्टक नागोदर लीन गर्भ एंड मृत गर्भ लीन गर्भ एंड मृत गर्भ ओके सो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स गर्भ व्यापद अगेन गर्भस्त्राव गर्भपात उपविष्टक नागोदर लीन गर्भ एंड मृत गर्भ दिस इज द टाइम टू कंक्लूड अवर सेशन आई एम वेरी थैंकफुल फॉर योर नाइस कॉपरेशन फ्रॉम सेवन टू एट पी एम अंडरस्टैंडिंग द प्रसूति तंत्र विज्ञान ऑफ थर्ड इयर बी एम एस आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर स्टडीज आई विश ऑल द बेस्ट फॉर योर ऑल योर इंटरनल एंड एक्सटर्नल एग्जामिनेशन एंड वी विल सी चुमारो एट सेवन पी एम विथ टॉपिक ऑफ बाल रोग और कौमार वृत्त तंत्र लेक्चर नंबर सेवन थैंक यू वेरी मच टेक केयर एंड सी यू सुन